What's up guys? Welcome back. To hmm. Today we're talking all about setting up a reef tank. What is the hardest? Ooh, I am answering. Maybe I should have thought about this before I started filming. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Real Reefing TV and today we're talking about the hardest part of setting up a reef tank. And guys, if you haven't checked me out on social media, I know a lot of you guys follow me here, but I am on Instagram. I'll go ahead and throw my tag down here as well as Facebook. So check me out on those platforms. I'm looking to grow and expand those communities so that we can connect more often. Spoiler alert, the worst part about setting up a reef tank is having to take your time is you know having to have that patience and setting it up right and and taking your time throughout that process you know a lot of us and I know myself included um, you know when I set up my first reef tank I bought it used everything kind of like came with it it was a hodgepodge of different stuff and I always thought you know what like I wish that I had the time to go back and just kind of like get rid of everything that I have and start over. If I did that, I would do everything right. I would just, you know, I would plan it all out and I would make sure that I have everything, you know, perfect in the way that it was. And so my suggestion to you is make sure that you plan, plan, plan. Take your time, have some patience with it. Take some pride in what you're doing when you're setting up your reef tank. That's why this reef tank right here has been sitting here for, I don't know what, three, three, four months now? And it's really because I wanna take my time with it. I wanna document it for you guys, but I wanna take my time with it. And I wanna share with you guys why it's important to take your time. So reason number one, the reason, the first reason why, uh, and I think the most important reason why you want to take your time with setting up your reef tank is you want to set yourself up for success. You want to make sure that you plan ahead of time, plan everything. You want to make sure that you, you know, you pick out the perfect tank for your area. Where are you going to house the tank? Where is it going to be? Is it going to be in direct sunlight? Is it not going to be in direct sunlight? Is it going to be a place where everybody's going to be able to see it? So plan where you're going to have it. Make sure you have it on something that's, you know, the right uh, type of stand for it to be on and plan that out. If you're going to have something custom made or prefab or if it's going to go on a piece of furniture that you already own or maybe built. Right. And so all of these planning things can come into play to give you the best chances for success. Maybe the skimmer that you're going to have, the light that you're going to have, the livestock you're going to have and make sure everything lines up and matches with one another. The next biggest reason why you're going to want to um, take your time in setting up your reef tank is because it will save you so much money. Guys, listen to me. If you take your time in setting up your reef tank, there are multiple sales to be had. New Year sales, Christmas sales, Black Friday sales, there's Easter sales, and, and March, St. Patrick's Day sales. Guys, there's sales all of the time. And if you plan it right, you can get all of those sales and get your equipment at a discounted rate. So take your time in setting it up and that also helps you to um, kind of see things or maybe hear about things that you didn't know uh, were really important. Like for instance, it was a piece of equipment that I had bought for this tank and you know I got some, uh, some feedback from someone else that maybe that night might not be the right direction and so it allowed me time to kind of change direction that piece of equipment hadn't been used yet, so I was able to take it back to the retailer. So really important to do all of your planning and take your time, and that'll save you a lot of money. Number three, the third reason why you wanna take your time in setting up a reef tank is that it will save you so many headaches down the road, so many. Again, planning goes into everything, and that takes time. And if you don't plan right, you're going to give yourself headaches, whether it's you're, you're setting up everything, you just whip it all up, you throw all the rock, you throw the water in, you turn the lights on, you start throwing corals in, they're going to die, right? Because nitrogen cycle hasn't occurred yet and you now have deadly toxic ammonia in your tank or you start throwing too, fish in too soon, they die. Again, you're wasting money and you're causing yourself headaches. So again, look, take your time, guys. You know, just take it easy, take some pride in the tank and, and you know, what you've put together. 
and so that you can tell all of your friends, you know, yeah, this is what it's going to do, and this is how it's going to work, and really just come up with a polished, finished product, and this reef tank is going to be banging. It's going to have everything that you wanted in it. You're going to pay, you know, a lot less in the long run. You're going to save yourself a lot of headaches, and you're going to set your tank up for success. It's going to be awesome. I'm really excited to, to share with you guys the process of this. I'm glad you're sticking with it through me. I know it's taking a lot of time. And again, I believe you. I'm with you right there. I want it to be up and running. I want to sit here, edit some videos, and, and check out the tank. That's where I want to be. But you know what? You got to do it right. You got to do it right the first time. Because if it's something worth doing, it's something worth taking your time and doing it right. All right, guys. That's it. One. This is a short one. I just wanted to share that with you. You know, if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. I'd certainly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, if you're new here, if you found some value in this video, go ahead and click this subscribe button right over here, and check out the um, check out another video right over here. All right, guys. That's it for me today. Keep it salty, y'all. Stay fresh. I'm out. Peace.